What's happening, guys? It's your boy Robert C. coming back at you with another pay dirt. This time, we got Benson Beach, Washington State by GoNuggetSales.com. Now, let's see it in the pan. Nice. Let me get everything set up, and I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, so like I said, we got some Benson Beach, Washington State by GoldNuggetSales.com. And this is my number two pick of the sample pack that I'll be panning out for you guys. It contains one gram of gold, just like the rest. And let's crack this open and see what it looks like. See a little bit of organics in there. Always good to see in a pay dirt. And this bag has me curious. Because like, like I said, they all contain one gram. And it's part of the sample pack. So I'm wondering if they put as close to one gram as possible in there. Just as a... It's like a, like a challenge test, right? This bag should reveal. I'm not seeing anything. I'll make it eye. Let me get this all classified down, and I'll bring you guys back in a minute. All right, guys, so we're back, and as you can see, I got it classified down to four different sizes. Reasoning for that is I usually go by what size the material is or how many times I'm going to classify it. As you can see, uh, Washington Beach sand, so it was really sandy, so I did classify it down to another notch smaller. And because Washington Beach is known for black sands, I am going to run a magnet through it and see what we got going on because I have a funny feeling there is going to be some magnetics in this particular dirt. And as you can see, my prediction seems about right on point. So we'll just, we'll, we will have to sit here and get too crazy with it, but we'll just... Uh, We'll get a little bit out. Makes just the panning process a little bit easier, right? And just quick go over and over. And when you're when you're doing magnetics, never pull it up on the first one and dish it out, right? Always drop it back in, go over it. You might even want to drop it again. Because you can pick up gold. And with that, so you always want to set it aside for a later date or after you're done to go through it to see if you missed any fine stuff. And there you have it, folks. So let me get you spinned around and set up, and I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, so we're all back and we're set up. Hopefully this gives you a good point of view. As always, start off with a little bit of jet dry. Breaks the surface tension of the water so the small gold does not float away. And I have a funny feeling, guys, we're going to find a lot of our gold in here. It's going to be super, super fine gold. So what I'll do is when you do when you do think something like that, always carry a teaspoon on the side, right? 
and you can just scoop in maybe a teaspoon or two and test it out and see what you're working with so a little bit of water in the pan stratify it around shake it nice and good also I don't think I've, I've mentioned it much to some people that never pan before that may be interested in panning I've always mentioned you know if you're curious or, you know, if you think you're going to lose gold and you're scared you're going to lose gold, you could always put a catch pan in the bottom to catch all your tailings, which is highly suggested if you're new. Um, I lost my train of thought, guys. <laughs> lost my train of thought. Give me a minute and maybe I'll remember. So we'll spin this back right here. And I could already see it, guys. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but right up here, we're getting some really small, fine stuff starting to show. Uh, that's what I meant to say, guys. If you get yourself a new pan, always scuff it up before you use it because it does come with, you know, oils on it. So you want to make sure none of that small gold escapes. So um, a light, light sanding with sandpaper and SOS. Some people use SOS, like Scotch, Scotch Bright pads. Scratch it up. You can go outside, get a handful of stones, wet it, and swoosh it all around. But make sure you scuff up the pan before you use it. And I could already see some fine gold. I know you guys could see it in there. Check that out, guys. So we'll do this first pan. And I won't bore you with the rest of it because it will take a little bit of time. But this is just to give you an idea on this particular pay dirt. And as I suspected, we can all find some... We're going to find a lot of sm small gold. Not sure if you guys see my community post either about, you know, possibly making, um, making some pay dirt for my tailings. But to give you a little insight on that, guys, it's going to include the gold. It's also going to include a one one of the 15 buckets will include a over one gram nugget, possibly closer to two gram nugget. One of the 15 buckets, but I'm also thinking it'll it'll come with like gemstones, um, copper nuggets, maybe some silver crystalline. I'm going to try to make it as interesting as possible for anybody that's interested in, in buying some. And try to make it affordable for everybody to have fun. So, if you're interested in it, head over to my community tab and, and check out my post and put your vote in. If you guys would be interested or not. So, there we go, guys. Two teaspoons, like I said, if you're not sure, start off with two teaspoons, pan it out, see what you're working with. And as you can see, as I thought, we're going to find some quite a bit of small gold. So I'll take this, suck it up in my snuffer bottle. Let me give it a little tap, get everything up there. And... We got quite a bit left, guys. So I'll bring you in when I'm finishing up. And hang tight. All right, guys. So we're getting down to the last little bit of that smallest classification. And as you can see, relatively in each pan, 
he had about that much gold. So what we'll do now is suck it up in the snuffer bottle. For all the newbies that don't know how to work a snuffer bottle, it may, it may sound silly, but, but all you do is squeeze the snuffer bottle like that. And then when you get up to the top where your gold is, just let go and run it across. And it'll suck your gold right up. So anyway guys, we'll go down to our next classification which is right here and we'll do the same thing because it's quite small stuff. So we'll take two teaspoons. And we'll test, we'll do a test pan. To see what we got going on in here. Sorry guys if it's a little breezy behind me. Got a storm approaching and my garage door is open. I may not be in chat much guys because I'll be on my way back from the truck show when this premieres. But I try to jump in and chat as much as I can but I'll definitely be in there. Service dependent. Hopefully, uh, I'm in a good service area. But either way, I'm doing this for your guys' enjoyment. And just in case you're interested in maybe this kind of pay dirt. You can see how it pans out. As always, guys, I used to, I like as little water as possible. That one was for you, Travis. <laughs> little water as possible because I, I just, that's, that's my method. I find it easier that way. You know, it's not as swooshy around. You get it, it, it rolls back, but it doesn't, you know, roll back fiercely. It rolls back just enough that if something drops, starts dropping off to the bottom you can catch it before it totally like uh disappears down in the back side of the pan and when you get up to where the gold is and there's a little bit just take your time nice and slow guys Keep your eye peeled and making sure nothing rolled back. You can get a little roly-poly piece of gold that'll roll across the bottom of the pan. So you really gotta you really gotta keep your eye open. Give a little tap, walk everything up to the front, and there you go, guys. Two teaspoons, our first pan. And it looks like we getting some promising results. So, let me finish this classification, guys. After I suck this up in the snuffer bottle. Don't worry about squirting a little bit of water out of your snuffer bottle, either. Because, like I said, guys, when, when you got your snuffer bottle, you can see the, you can see the, the um, little tube right here goes down here. Make sure it's about, you know, that far down in your tube. So then when you go upside down to squirt some water out, you're not going to be squirting any. You don't have to worry about squirting any gold out, right? But let me finish this classification, and I'll bring you guys back in at the tailing end of it. Hang tight. All right, guys, so we're down to the last little bit of that second classification. And we got about this much out of uh, maybe four or five pans, I would say. So what we'll do is suck that up in the snuffer bottle. And we only have a little bit for the next two classifications, so I'll just keep you guys going and we'll dump that right in. Might get a couple pieces out of this, I don't think. I always could be wrong. 
out of the last classification. It's not, it wasn't really too murky of a dirt. It's actually uh, pr pretty clean. Had a couple organics that got um, classified out when I classified it, but other than that, it's a pretty clean, clean dirt. Not too difficult if you take your time. Of course, if you're panning, you're, you're there to enjoy it, so you should just always be taking your time. There is no rush. Another one for you, Travis. <laughs> so we'll roll this back. And see what if we got anything. So I'm sure I might get a piece or two in there, maybe. We did get quite a bit out of the smaller stuff, so I see a couple little see a couple little pebbles up there. Maybe three or four. And two. Two. Three. Three little specks up there, guys. See it right there. So we'll get that sucked up in the snuffer bottle. I'm feeling this dirt. I, I could have read the description a little bit more, I guess. I just had a feel, feeling it was uh, more towards finer gold, which is I enjoy to the fullest. Now I don't know if we'll find anything in this classification guys, I really don't. I'm not expecting to. Like I said, we got quite, quite a bit out of the smaller stuff, quite a bit. So we didn't get anything out of that classification. I wasn't expecting it after everything we found in the smaller classifications. But anyway, guys, let me get this all cleaned up, and I'll be back in a minute with a bottle dump. Hang tight. All right, we got everything cleaned up. Here's our stuffer bottle. Got all our gold in there. Like I said, when you're paying a fine gold, always check the underneath right there just to make sure you don't have anything stuck in there. She shouldn't, but you can never be too cautious, right? So here we go, guys. As always, dip it in, give it a little rinse, make sure, especially when you're doing really fine gold, as this is. You want to make sure you get all that fine gold out of there. So we'll get ourselves all situated here and I'll show you what we found. So there we have it, guys. There is our oh 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 well, not yet guys hold on we got some got some stuck up here stuck up here guys there we go so there we go guys. That's what we got working with us. So let me get this all dried out, and I'll be back to you in a minute. Of course, as always, for the weigh-in. Hang tight. All right, guys. <clears throat> so we're back. 
And here is the gold we found. Some nice fine gold. I always like finding fine gold. I like the little challenge of it. It wasn't too, too difficult, but it was definitely some good pay dirt, fun pay dirt. Took a little bit of time, found some nice gold. Now the only thing left to do is fire up the good old trusty scale and see how we made out. I really thought we were going to hit that exact one, guys, but, oh, let that settle for a minute. One point zero one five promised one gram, not too bad. Again, guys, this is Benson Beach, Washington State, by GoldNuggetSales.com. If you like this pay dirt, interested in this pay dirt, I will leave the link in the description. You can go over there and check them out. I've always had positive results with them. Mike's a great guy. He makes some great pay dirt. Absolutely outstanding company with some outstanding pay dirt. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys watching to the fullest. It means more than words. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.